NXT Great American Bash coming up on July 30th at the HEB Center in Cedar Park. Tickets are available, Ticketmaster.com. If you can't be at the HEB Center, make sure you catch it on Peacock, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Load of matches lined up. That includes Thea Hale going after the NXT Women's Championship. But to do so, she's got to go through my guest joining me on the Vaqueros Cafe and Cantina Hotline. She was an accomplished gymnast at St. Catharines University in Minnesota, NCAA Division III, also was on the 2016 U.S. National Gymnastics Team, and now she is the NXT Women's Champion. It is Tiffany Stratton. Follow her on Twitter at Tiff Stratton WWE, on Instagram at Tiffany WWE. Tiffany, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well. I, I want to touch on, first of all, as I said, accomplished gymnast. What was your specialty in gymnastics? Um, I was actually not the typical bars, beam, vault type of gymnast. I was a trampoline gymnast. Um, I bounced on the trampoline. It's like a, it's in the shape of a rectangle, rectangle. And uh, we perform two routines. Uh, one of them is your compulsory routine, which is the easier skills. And you do like, you make it look as pretty as possible. And then you have an optional routine, which is like all the flips and the cool tricks and stuff like that. So trampoline was my specialty. Okay. All right. That sounds interesting. Um, let me ask, is there, what is it from the gymnastics world that you carry with you today in NXT? Um, I would say, honestly, like, honestly, gymnastics gave me coordination. It gave me strength, flexibility, like all the tools you need to be a great athlete and a great athlete within wrestling. But I really feel like gymnastics, uh, the, biggest thing I took away from it is the the mental strength that it teaches you um in gymnastics you have to be so mentally tough you have to be able to fight through you know like learning new skills getting mental blocks um just like flat out determination and being disciplined and stuff like that um so I think gymnastics has really helped me with uh the mindset that I have today and the the view I have on you know sports and working out and staying disciplined and stuff like that fantastic it's it's a uh, you know it's such it's so interesting to watch gymnastics uh you know of course you know we're coming up next year the summer olympics in in paris so you know you get to watch these individuals that just do things that you can only you know you only imagine so um I was doing a little bit of research and before you joined NXT, is it true you trained under Greg Gagne? Yeah, he was actually, he's kind of the, the reason why I even got a tryout with WWE. Um, I, my mom reached out to him. Somehow she knew someone who knew someone who knew him. And um, he wouldn't agree to train, train me at first. Um, and then he kind of was like, like, we persuaded him and stuff like that and kind of told him about my background. And he was like, okay, so this girl's kind of legit. And then he saw me take one bump and he was like, okay, I think we have something here. So he trained me. He called whoever he needed to call at WWE to try and get me a tryout because I submitted my application so many times and they would not look at me. Um, so he kind of helped me with just getting a tryout within WWE. That's, so that's, he's helped me. A lot. That's fantastic. And for Grant Gagne, a <laughs> legend in the business, former AWA World Tag Team Champion, and everything. Um, two things. First of all, what's that one lesson that that Greg Gagne ta taught you that you hold uh, today? Um, he always told me, "Do what you're told." Um, and don't have an attitude, I would say. We have butt heads a little bit. You know, there's been times where we get into arguments and I've learned my lesson and I learned that I need to keep my mouth shut most of the time. Um, but like speak up when you feel like you need to as well. Um, so I would say that's the biggest lesson okay. that he has taught. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, so there is this video from back in the day, his father, the legendary, the late great Bern Gagne, when he was doing training, he'd have you chase chickens. Did Greg make you chase any chickens? <laughs> no, he did not have me do that. Okay. I don't think I 
good. That was always the one of the funniest videos I ever saw. Great Vern Gagne running around this chicken yard. So, That's um, hilarious. yeah, it's, it's it's so great. Uh, you've been in NXT for a couple years now. Um, besides winning the women's title, what's the biggest? What's your what's the thing you're most proud of? yourself you know you're with your tenure in nxt um i would have to say just my growth my my growth within such a short amount of time um you know i thought i thought it was making progress like last year when i first debuted i could feel myself get better every time and i never really got um confirmation of that um you don't a lot of times people tell you like the things that you're doing wrong which is exactly what you need to get better but Nobody kind of tells you like, oh, you're doing everything right. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, so to be champion now, it kind of just solidifies like that I have truly actually gotten so much better since the day I debuted. And it just confirms everything that I thought back then. Yeah. And holding that title, it has such a legacy. You know, the, the, the women that have held that title, you know, uh, have gone on to great things you think of the mm -hmm. likes of charlotte flair and becky lynch and uh you know oscar and Shayna baszler and such so i've got to imagine i gotta imagine that is in the back of your mind the legacy of that championship and what you're gonna do with it of course i know i have big shoes to fill and i know i'm capable of filling those shoes and i have no problem proving that every week and proving that my title reign could be one of the best title reigns that NXT has ever seen. Sounds wonderful. So at Great American Bash, again, coming up July 30th at the HEB Center at Cedar Park, just, you know, suburb, northwest suburb of Austin. You are in a submission match with Thea Hale from Chase U. Now, uh, as you know, I've and I've watched you over the last several months, and you're not exactly a submission type wrestler. So I got to imagine you're learning a few tricks to, you know, to, to put in that match and hopefully retain your title, I would think, right? Of course. Um, I'll do whatever it takes. If that means I have to um, sit down and watch submission match after submission match, then I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to open ring and I'm going to work on the best submissions I think that would fit me. Um, I'll do whatever it takes. And that's why I'm champion. That's why I'm at the top of the women's division is because I will do whatever it takes. I work harder than any other woman in that locker room. And I prove it every time I have a match. Absolutely. It's going to be a fantastic match. You, you versus Thea Hale in a submission match at NXT great American bash. Before I let you go, I know, you know, that locker room is, you know, that you got a lot of challengers that will be stepping up afterwards. You know, something you do, retain uh is there somebody in the locker room that you're looking forward to facing besides the hail um i want to say looking forward to in the nxt locker room um if anybody wants to step up go right ahead um but i there are some women on the main roster you know i want to wrestle the best woman in the world and i think charlotte flair is on that level uh, she's the best to ever do it, I, in my opinion, and I feel like in a lot of other people's opinion. And I would love to have a match with her. I think we'd have great in-ring chemistry, and I think it would be a banger match and a must-see. I think it would be, too. The 14-time world champion, she thinks that would be a great match between the two of you. She is Tiffany Stratton, the NXT Women's Champion. Follow her on Twitter at Tiff Stratton WWE and on Instagram at Tiffany WWE. Tiffany, I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. By the way, you know, when you got to come, when you come to Austin and come to Cedar Park, you got to try a little barbecue. Are okay. You, are you up for some barbecue? I like barbecue. Yeah. All right. Good. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, again, thank you so much. All the best to you. Looking forward to see you uh, in Cedar Park. Thank you so much for having me. I'll see you in Cedar Park.